Hello guys and welcome back to another one of my videos. If you saw my last video you'd see that I blocked out my brows and I showed you my routine on how I actually go about blocking them out, mapping out the shapes and actually putting the shape on. So this is the results from the last video. If you haven't seen that yet you can click right up here. I'll have it linked up above and if you haven't watched that yet I recommend going back watching that and getting up to where we are now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my base makeup in this video and just show you my basic routine on how I achieve my usual contouring, how I do the re-sculpting on my face. Um, pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just breaking up each part of my makeup into a different video because I know they can be quite time consuming but at least if I do it this way I can get into more depth about each thing individually instead of making 30-40 minute long videos of me doing my makeup. I'll just be able to start with doing my base and having my eyebrows done and kind of continuing from there. So without further ado, let's get into this base makeup. So as you can see from the last video, I already have my contour and my foundation and my highlight on my forehead. So you can see how I did that in the last video. I like to do that before I do the brows, just so when I'm doing the white under here that there is more of a contrast and it does actually have that little bit more lift off the face. I'm going to be going in and going to be doing my liquids and I am also going to be doing my powders and stuff and just showing you how I go along with each step. So what I'm going to start with by doing is I'm just going to get a little bit of this Krylon TV paint stick in 2W and I'm just going to go ahead and put that over the beard area and the moustache area, it has a bit of a pinky salmon tone to it so it does kind of colour correct as it goes. I just don't like using this on my whole face. So now that I have that down, I'm just going to go into my brush and just buff that in and just blend it out. Now I'm going to go into my NC30 in Studio Fix Foundation from MAC and just kind of plopping a little bit of that onto the brush. Just about that much, a good old dollop. A good old dollop. And just kind of getting that around the perimeter of the face. This just helps recede this face back at the edges and it's good to do this before doing your actual highlighting and everything just to kind of drag everything forward right to the middle around here. So just going to go in and buff that into the skin, dragging it back on the neck just a little bit and getting it onto the ears because I didn't do that in my last video. So now what I'm going to do is go into my NC20 in the Studio Fix Foundation and just getting that right onto the brush as well and just about the same amount and what you're going to do is you're just going to get that here in the middle. The NC range in skin shades in MAC is more yellow toned and the NW is more of a pink undertoned. I have quite pink skin but I kind of prefer using the yellow undertoned foundations. I don't know it just seems to work best for me but in my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk foundation it's more of a beige undertone and that's why I like it for layering over foundations just to kind of neutralize everything and if I do go too heavy with a yellow that I can kind of pull it back to a middle ground then as well. And also dragging out the foundation on the neck with that lighter foundation as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my super white again. Well, for the first time I'm going to go in with the super white and I'm just going to add the highlights into the face. So a little bit here in the chin, a little bit here above the lip and under the eyes to brighten. I usually put more layers on so I usually use about three or four foundations and then I use two concealers to brighten. But for the sake of this video and just showing you the basics on how to do the re-sculpting, I'm just gonna use some dark shades and the light shades and just kinda skip out all the in-betweens. You don't need everything that I used in the last video to achieve the right makeup look. It just does help everything look that little bit more seamless. I'm just gonna get a little bit back here. We're going to get our brush that we just blended our foundation out with and we're just going to tap that into the skin using a light hand. Just trying to keep it focused in the areas where we've placed it. Just watching the eyebrow and everything that we've already placed down because we don't want to disturb any of the work that we've already done. 
and just getting under the cheekbone. So that's good for now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our TV paint stick in 7W and we're going to go down here on the side of the face on both sides. So down like this, right into the hair. And then we're going to go down and curve it in like so, just like that. And we're going to go from the ear down to the chin, just like so, a little bit under here a little bit on the lip there and then we're going to go in and do the nose. We're just going to go down either side of the nose. I like to tilt my head forward like this because I feel like I can see it better. And a little bit under the tip here. So just using a smaller brush now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and blend all of those contour colours out. Just stippling over the edges. In my last video, you saw me do all of this with a beauty blender. I'm just showing you now how you can go ahead and do it with a brush. It is better to use a brush sometimes because you can keep the product concentrated exactly where you want it. And sometimes I find using the beauty blender, the product can spill into areas that you don't really want it to go. And then stippling over the line at the edge just to soften that up a little bit. With our nose contour brush, this is a Morphe E62. I'm just going to go in and stamp on the product that I already have on the nose. And when once I have a bit of product picked up onto the brush, I can go ahead and kind of chisel it into exactly where I want it to be, and then dragging the excess back down the nose. As you can see, we're adding a bit more warmth back into the face now as well while we're doing this. Now I'm going to get my flat top concealer brush and I'm going to go back in with the super white again and just get focusing most of the product on the tip of the brush. What I'm going to do is tilt my head forward and I'm going to drag this line right down the nose like so and just kind of work the product onto the nose, kind of sculpting the shape of the bridge of the nose that you'd like and if you make any mistakes you can just go back in with your contour shade again and clean up the edges and then once I have it on I like to go over it with my pinky finger like so and just blend it out a little bit. That is the majority of the work with the creams done all I'm going to do is go back in with the light foundation brush again and bring this under the contour and just stippling it over the edges as well just to brighten everything back up again. So if you want everything to be that, that little bit brighter after putting the contour down you can go back in with a little bit more white and what I do is just pop it under the eyes, stamp it down the sides of the nose contour and just bouncing that into the skin and making sure everything is blended seamlessly. So that is the creams. What I'm gonna do now is set everything with powder. So now we're gonna move on with the powder, contours, blush, bronzer, all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by going in with the Hula bronzer, and this is in the original shade that they made. Just going in with an angled kind of fluffy brush, swirling that around in the product and just putting that back over the areas where I've contoured. So we're just going to buff that in. And same up here in the top. Going under the jaw, just kind of stamping it on, on the point of the jaw there. And what I usually like to do is put it on the sides of my neck as well to kind of make everything a little bit more cohesive with my face. Since I did make the outside perimeter of my face darker, I'll do the same with my neck. And put a little bit on the Adam's apple area as well. So sorry that the color of this video keeps changing. It's, I can't control the weather. I am not God. Well, I could be, but I think I'm not. So that's a good base now for the bronzer. I'm going to get my NYX Contour Palette, a brush that's kind of dome shaped. So just working the, these browns into the hollow of the cheek and then going back in with a deeper tone to actually hollow out the rest of it. And then you should have something like this, something nice and soft. 
get that on the forehead as well. Going in now and just getting that under the chin and buffing it back up the jaw and up by the ear as well. Going in with our nose contour brush, it's the E62 again and running that down in one clean swipe on both sides. And then just run that down the sides of the nose. Now just going in with blush, we're just gonna add a bit more life back into the face. So picking up a lot of that on the brush we used for the bronzer. What I'm gonna do is just pop it onto the high points of the cheek. Above the brows. On the tip of the nose on the chin. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and bake my face and cut all of my contours. So now that I've let these powders sit and bake on my face, I'm just gonna go to my fluffy brush that I was using with my powders earlier. And in circular motions, I'm just gonna work it into the skin and dust it off, trying not to go over my contours. Just like so, and we lose a bit of the pigment off the blush, so I'm just gonna pick a little bit of that back up and just go in and plop that back on the cheeks, on the tip of the nose. So usually I'd have setting spray, so I'd use setting spray at this stage just to help all the powders melt back into my face, but at the moment I don't have any setting spray, so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna put my highlight on now. I'm using MAC Double Gleam, it's the extra dimension skin finish and it's like a highlighter except it has glitter reflex in it like the little reflex pop mac used to have it's like that's mixed in with it so what i do is i usually swirl it in like this to pick up as much as i can and this is a very creamy product anyway and when applying it to the face i just swirl it on in circular motions and then after i have the product swirled on just where i want to really focus it i pick it up and just stamp it on there so same on the other side, we're just going to go up here. And just with my pinky finger, I'm going to pick up a little bit of that highlighted there and I'm just going to bop that onto the tip of my nose, like so. And with whatever's remaining on my finger, I'm just going to run that up and down the bridge. And this is where we should be after we have our base makeup done. Next things to do now would be like do your eyeshadow, add lashes and stuff like that. But I just said I'd do two little tutorials so I could show you how to do brows and how to do base. Because all the tutorials that I'd be doing in the future will just be continuing on from this point. Unless I change anything about how I'm doing it, then I will go over everything from the start. So that has been a quick tutorial on how to do your base makeup, how to do your contouring, your underpaint, how to do your blush, how to do your highlight, how to sculpt your features a little bit, where to place your highlights, how to do a bit of nose contour. If you have any other questions on how to do base makeup or how to do anything that I've shown you here in this video, don't hesitate to give me a message or pop a comment down in the comment section down below. If there's anything else that you want to see me do or any other videos that you want to see me make, please let me know by hitting me up in my DMs or hitting me up in my comment section down below as well. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get updated every time that I upload a new video. And as always as well, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate the support you're giving me and I will catch you in the next one.